Hello everybody, welcome to part two of my video tutorial on how to get ebooks you've purchased from my site over onto your e-reader. If you haven't already, you might want to check out the first part which describes how to download the actual book file to your computer. Once you've done that, you have three options, well there's probably more, but three at least that I can recommend on how to get that file onto your e-reader. So here's probably the most common way of doing it. Um, first, you're going to need to go over to your Amazon account in your web browser. You want to log in, and when you do log in, the first page it will take you to is... Not this one, don't look yet. Hang on. This is the first time I'm doing a video. Still not the one. Not the one. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when you log in, this is uh, the screen that you will see. So what you want to do is scroll all the way down to digital content and you're going to click on manage your content and devices. Now this is a one-time setup you have to do um, that you won't have to repeat every time but just to make sure you get everything um, over to your Kindle this first time you're going to come over to settings and click that and then you will want to scroll down until you see personal document settings because they're considering a book you've bought on a third-party site a personal document. You could actually use this method to send yourself anything you have on your computer. Like if you have a Word document or a shopping list or whatever it might be, you could also send those over um, in PDF format. I think it also does Word documents and anything Mobi. So there you go. You could use this for other stuff too. Um, what you want to make sure is here in the section where it says send to Kindle email settings, um, what they're basically doing is saying they don't want anybody to just be able to send stuff to your Kindle because we don't want people to send you spam, we don't want them to send you viruses or anything like that. So in order to make sure that the files that are loading onto your Kindle are ones we really trust, we need to have an approved personal document email list. So only people you trust can send stuff to your Kindle. Well, you trust yourself, and you're going to need to add your own email address to finish this process. So mine is already here. You can see my Jane Ryland at yahoo.com address is already listed. That's the email that I will be sending email from this computer I'm on to my Kindle. So whatever email that account is for you, you need to add that um, by clicking this add a new approved email address and following the prompts there. Once you have this email address um, added, then you want to take note of another um, email address on this same page. It's right here under your Send to Kindle email settings. If you have a bunch of different devices that you have the Kindle app on, like say a phone and an iPad, a computer, whatever it might be, you'll have more than one thing listed here. Um, in this case, I actually don't really use this account for reading, so I just added my phone quickly so I could demonstrate this for you. So you would look at whichever device it is that you want to read the book you've purchased from my site on and find the specific email address for that device. You may not even have known it had its own email address, but guess what? It does. So you want to copy this email address over here because it could be like gobbledygook. It's kind of based on, I think, your email address and your user account name at Amazon, um, but it could be pretty much anything. And P.S. Look how scary Amazon is that they know I want purple on my new computer. That's pretty crazy. Anyway, so once you have this email address copied, which you can do by selecting the whole thing and then right-clicking and choosing copy, um, you want to go over to your email program. I use Yahoo Mail. Create a new email, just like you're typing to anybody, whatever, a blank email. In there, you're going to right-click again and choose paste to put in your email address for the Kindle you'd like to read this book on. You don't even have to write a subject or a message, nothing. It doesn't care. Um, all you have to do is attach the ebook file that you bought from my website. Um, I should say now at this point, I hope that you would have bought the Mobi file, .mobi, and on my website it's very clear. It says this is the Kindle edition, um, but if you didn't, just send me an email and we'll sort it out. Um, but what you want to do then is referring back to the first video, uh, you need to remember where you saved that book file to. That's like a critical step. <laughs> so you're going to click your email program's attach button, whatever it might be. In mine, it's this little paper clip. And then you're going to navigate on your computer to wherever you saved that book file to. 
I saved mine under ebooks. A lot of um, people save things to their um, desktop, which is probably fine too. And then what I did there was just quickly sort by date modified just because it helps me find things. And here we go. This is the ebook that I most recently downloaded from my own website and I am going to send to Kindle. So I double click that file and you'll see down here it's adding the attachment. And once it finishes spinning around and doing its stuff, it means it's attached. So now all I have to do is click send. Yes, I really want to send it without a subject because my Kindle doesn't care. And that's it. Once it's sent, it will now be on your Kindle. Um, when you open up your Kindle app, one thing you may have to do, number one, you want to make sure Wi-Fi is on if you don't have a 3G Kindle um, to make sure that it can get delivered. And then if it's still not there, you can choose from the um, settings menu, sync and check for new items, and that'll make sure it pops up. But um, you can probably see, if I go back to this Amazon page and go over to my content, okay, well, if all was right in the world. Okay, it's not there, but I swear to God it's on my Kindle, and I'm not sure why it doesn't show up here. Probably, if I thought about it for a second, I could think of the reason why it's not. But it would be on my phone. Um, and you can't see me because this is a screen capture, but I'm double checking right now to make sure that it's over there. And it is. So there you go. You would just open it up and read like normal. Um, hopefully this video is helpful for you. This is the first time I'm trying this out. I know I'm not an expert at it, but hopefully you're able to get the information you need. And if you have any questions or you still need help, just email me at janerylan at yahoo.com or contact at janerylan.com, either works, and uh, we'll get you sorted out. Thank you.